Hello, you're watching Hornbill TV. As the 24th edition of the Hornbill Festival officially commenced yesterday, it paved way for the commencement of various activities. And in commemoration of the Battle of Koyama, World War II peace and car rally was flagged off from Namsa headquarters, Sovema Chumgidma, in the morning, and which culminated in the World War II Museum complex, Kisama. And now, the prize distribution ceremony is taking place. So we'll head to the live broadcast. Thank you, Tonto. Whatever I see, you're timing all of Miss Kajola. Honorable Chief Minister Nagaland, Srinip Uriyo. Most respected Consul General of Germany in Kolkata, Madame Barbara Voss. Honorable advisors, honorable and respected dignitaries seated on the dais. All my friends, ladies and gentlemen, friends from around the world, guests, visitors, tourists, everybody present here, and friends watching on various platforms on media, we send you greetings on behalf of the Nagaland Adventure and Motorsports Association, and we welcome you to Nagaland, the land of festivals. We welcome you to Kisama, the Naga Heritage Village. We welcome you to the Hornbill Festival, the festival of festivals. At the very outset, I would like to extend a very heartfelt gratitude and appreciation to Madame Voss, German Council General, for being the chief guest in this very, very significant and historic event, for being a partner of the Hornbill Festival, and for collaborating with us in so many programs. Madame, we are grateful to you and your country, and we look forward to many fruitful collaborations in the years to come. I would especially like to thank the Honorable Chief Minister, who is here personally to bring in the convoy, greet all of you, and always support this event from the time it was conceptualized. Many of you know that this event, the World War II Peace Rally, was a brainchild of our Chief Minister. I request all of us here to give him a round of applause for making this happen. He conceptualized this program, guided us, advised us, and he has brought it to what it is today. As my friend Dr. Tolto had said, we commemorate an epic and a historic event of history. About 80 years ago, this land, these mountains and these valleys were disturbed by the gunfire, the sounds of gunfire and tanks. Our people were disturbed by a war in which they had no business in. Strangers from different parts of the land arrived here and this became a violent place. While we cannot change history, we today use history and experiences, the memories of violence and war to propagate peace. The World War II Peace Rally, as its nomenclature states, sends out the message of peace to every part of the world. We all know that the events of the Second World War, the Battle of Kohima, ago. We are happy and proud of this history, but today our message to the world is peace, oneness, unity, universal brotherhood. It is the aspire and desire of the Naga people that as we rise as a state, as we march towards progress, as we achieve excellence, Nagas will make greater contributions to the cause of humanity. I congratulate each and every one of you who have come in today to Kisawa. It's been a difficult ride. We appreciate your participation. Many of you have come from far to participate in this. Let me tell you, that you add more value, more beauty, and more significance to the Hornbill Festival. One of the highlights of the Hornbill Festival is this event. And this event, as I said earlier, sends out the message of peace to every corner of the world. Once again, I welcome all of you. I thank the German Council General and the Honorable Chief Minister for your support. And I wish all of you a happy Hornbill Festival 
2023. Thank you. God bless. Good morning. Thank you, uh, Sri Abu Mehta, Chairman of NAMSA. Now we will have a time of presentation to our very special dignitaries, for which I would like to give again time to our Chairman. I request President NAMSA if you could step forward and uh, hand over the mementos. <coughs> Lima. President Nagaland Adventure and Motorsports Association, my colleague Lima, who is in a UN beret, so maintaining the peace, I guess. First of all, I request the President to hand over a memento to our Honorable Chief Minister. Memento to our chief guest, Madame Barbara Voss. <laughs> and a traditional gift for her too. We have two honorable advisors of the Chief Minister. I request Uncle Mandan if you could kindly stand up in your place. And finally, Mr. Newt, honorable advisor. Sorry if you could kindly stand up in your place. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chairman Namsa. Now I would like to give time to our Chief Host, the Honorable Chief Minister of Nagaland, Sri Nipirio, to deliver his message. Okay. All right. Sorry. <laughs> We're so eager to hear from the host. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, now we will hear the battle report from the rally commander, Mr. Moa Longkumar. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, respected uh, Chief Guest, Chief Minister Srinivasan, uh, um, Honorable Council uh, General, uh, Germany, uh, Madam Barbara Voss, um, and all who have come, participants, visitors, well-wishers, dignitaries, on behalf of the convoy, I would like to extend a big, you know, a big welcome to, uh, to, uh, to the Hornbill Festival and also the, I mean, the, this uh, historic event that we always have. Um, I'll, I'll keep it brief because uh, I don't want to ramble on and fill you on with boring details. Um, when we say battle report, it actually is a battle uh, for all these old vehicles most of these vehicles are <coughs> nearing 80 years old 81 years old 79 years old and it's a battle against gravity com coming uphill and it's a battle yeah, against age also and many of these vehicles they struggle and they're temperamental machines so it was fun vehicles breaking down uh, this morning we started off uh, from Dimapur. The, the, the convoy was flagged off by Madam uh, Hekani Chakanu um, at 7.20 from Namsa headquarters at Subima. We had 12 vehicles, uh, out of which about five were war jeeps, a number of them were post-war CJs, and for the first time uh, a Dodge weapons carrier. Um, and we we met up with the, the Kohima team uh, consisting of nine vehicles at um, Zidza. 
So in all, 21 vehicles, out of which two broke down, one could not make it, one was towed up. So that is, the, the, it's a part of the adventure, you know, having uh, breakdowns and everyone. Well, um, once again, um, we thank all the participants who have taken so much pains, you know, to to do up your vehicles and somehow get them moving in spite of all the age and you know and you know, spending a lot of personal resources and time in uh, getting this we hope next year we will have even a better uh, number of people participating um, thank you very much thank you mr moalan kumar our rally commander for your battle report Ladies and gentlemen, as I have announced earlier, today our chief host is our Honorable Chief Minister. Actually, he is the Commander-in-Chief of all the regiments present here today. And with much honor, I would like to invite him over for his speech. Sir, please. Thank you, Jefferson, Mr. Toto, our honorable and beloved chief guest, Madam Barbara Vox, German Consul General, Calcutta, my honorable colleagues, advisors, Mr. Abu Bata, Chairman Namsa, and our invitees, tourists, and also the Assam Rifles, bands, and friends, but most of all, the participants of World War II Ventis Car Relay to commemorate the Battle of Kohima. Well, Naga's story has many stories, but one of the important story is the Second World War. The last fight in Kohima and the British voted as the fiercest fight they fought throughout their fighting in different lands. So, when we are celebrating Hornbill Festival, showcasing our rich culture, tradition, and our Naga ways of life. We feel appropriate that when this car railing of the vehicles which you have been driving and reach here, it is a reminiscence of that time, some 79 years ago. And when you think about that, and when you go inside the museum, you will see some pictures. The whole Kohima town was destroyed. The Kohima village was fully destroyed and burned down to ashes and not a tree standing with leaves a bullet and the bombs had destroyed everything in this Naga people participated in supporting 
the British and Allied forces. Because the British colonized Arnaga Hills and they have uh, good establishments and was friendly. Though we had fought with the British, their officers and their Jawans were killed, but we had drawn a peace treaty and they had administered Naga Hills. Not all the Naga areas, but a part of Naga areas and other Naga inhabited areas were shown in the map as unadministered area. So this Second World War battle in our land and we faced the consequences, our contribution in supporting. We have to remember. And in this, I remembered Prince Andrew. He came to Kohima. And he came because of Diamond Jubilee of Queen Elizabeth, celebrating 70 years of her rule. And the public gave a huge reception in the NBCC Hall. And he was thrilled. He was so excited when he came here and met the Willie Jeeps of that time and some living ex servicemen. That was the last lot physically alive, healthy, and met Prince Andrew. So that is history. My father was also a British Indian soldier. During that period, and he served in the Assam Regiment. He was detained in the Shillong Happy Valley as assistant training instructor. And his friends used to go to the east scouting the enemies because the Japanese took over Rangoon, now you call it Yangon, and from the short lived and those regiment where my father served, all of them they were given the British King George Ford medals, the Burma Star, the Regiment Stars. It was very historical. And so, while we celebrate the rich culture, tradition, and the world over come to visit us, we thought that we should incorporate this Second World War when this car really. Today, I want to thank all the participants and I really appreciate your sacrifices, your hardship to maintain your vehicles, to take the trouble of dressing up in different countries and uniforms and the weapons you maintain and exhibit in this manner. Government is grateful. I'm personally grateful to all of you. And even in the days to come, we should keep our history alive. And we should 
continue to celebrate not the war but now the peace time has come we have to send a message of peace so second world war two peace really so once again i thank all the participants and i appreciate and acknowledge your sacrifices we have few presents here prizes you deserve the prize but maybe all will not get the prizes but we acknowledge you we appreciate you and we hope you'll keep our history alive and pass it on to the younger generations to live with our past and look for the future to live in peace in our country and also in humanity. Thank you and God bless. Thank you, sir, for your uh, wonderful remark on the event and we sincerely appreciate your support. You have been the main backbone of this event, this historic event, and we appreciate and thank you once again. Now I would like to give time to Her Excellency, the German Consul General of Kolkata, our most respected chief guest, Madam Barbara Rose, to deliver her speech. Madam, please. Um, dignitaries, um, uh, advisors, um, um, Sri um, Abu Mehta, Dr. Tolto Mehta, and first of all, dear participants, thank you very much for being here, and uh, it's um, like amazing, that's what we said yesterday already, and so the German delegation came here. First of all, to participate, of course, in the Hornbill Festival and to showcase um, the German band, um, which played yesterday, and Tree Circle. But we came as well to uh, meet a lot of people here in Nagaland and to find out areas where we can deepen and strengthen our cooperation in all kinds of different um, sectors, um, which was, I have to say, um, really eye-opening, so we had a lot of meetings with uh, a lot of um, very interesting people here uh, in Nagaland, and so uh, we are all looking forward to um, deepen these um, um, contacts um, that we made and uh, to find ways of um, cooperation. And I have to say that uh, Nagaland is not only like a land of festivals, beauty, uh, wonderful people, um, but as well, um, I think, like a, a land of um, surprises. I mean, I, I haven't uh, thought of uh, like coming here and uh, finding um, a great idea, um, Chief Minister of uh, um, World War II Peace Rally. When I saw this tweet of um, Sri Abu Mehta um, on social media about um, this event, we requested if it's possible to participate and um, of course he made it possible and um, that was the reason why we could at least accompany you um, a, a few kilometers which we enjoyed very much thank you very much for that and um, i mean it's like how you maintain the cars and um, how you um, bring this idea to to life is, is really um, um, an example and um, i mean of course we as Germans bear a special responsibility for World War II and that was also a reason why we wanted to participate. And we want as well like to support this really strong and important message of peace and of people living peacefully and harmony together. I mean that's really like the message that should go around the world from, from this event today. So I applaud you all um, for this um, fantastic um, event today and um, I mean when we look around the world there's so much war in, in so many different areas 
and um, we, we all have to um, work together to uh, live in peace and uh, um, overcome these uh, war times. I mean, the Honorable Chief Minister explained to us, and you see it in the museum, how destructive the whole area was, and that counts as well to other areas in the world. And um, for us, it's really um, a very, very important message that we would like to support. And um, um, we, we really think that enemy, enemies became friends. I mean, we see that here. Um, it's, um, it's a wonderful um, festival. A lot of um, um, nationalities celebrating together. And um, I think that's as well a, a very strong message to the world. Um, and I would, I'm glad, very glad to see two representatives of a European country from Slovakia with us here. <laughs> this shows as well um, that there is a, a lot of interest. And um, we will take all our impressions that we had here and all our meetings back not only to Kolkata but as well back to um, Berlin and the world and um, advertise um, this wonderful piece of Northeast India um, called Nagaland and its people and its um, ability to celebrate but as well to remind us how important peace is in the world. And I'm really looking forward um, to um, the, the winners of the prizes and as well the all ladies team of course. <laughs> and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really um, um, yeah, wondering um, uh, whom the uh, jury choose, and I've learned today that there was one participant that is anonymous, so I think that's a very interesting um, combination. So thank you very much once again for having us here, and uh, still enjoy the Hornbill Festival, and all the best. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Madam. Excellency German Consul General of Kolkata, Madam Barbara Voss. I had the utmost honor of driving her up here all the way from the War Cemetery today. And Madam was in full swing in combat mode. She had this she had the Syrian at her finger and she blew the Syrian at the right time. And uh, Madam, you were an awesome participant. And as you have rightly said, this year, the Second World War Peace Rally is an international rally indeed, because we have participants from Slovakia and Madam Consul General herself has participated. So we are very thankful and grateful to all the participants. Ladies and gentlemen, now uh, we have come to a very interesting part of uh, the program and as madam mentioned uh, we were told that there there is an anonymous judge who has been mingling with all the participants all along and some criteria came into being through which seven disciplines have been chosen to be awarded today so without further ado to do the honors i would like to request our chief host honorable chief minister sir to please step forward and our most respected chief guest, Madam Consul General, to please step forward to do the honors of giving the awards to the winners. In no particular order, everybody has done exceedingly well. Two vehicles broke down along the way, but one was towed back in here, and so they never gave up. So congratulations to all the participants. Although we have only seven disciplines, as our chief host has said, all of you are winners. So in no particular order, the award for the most disciplined squad goes to Jeep number 25. Jeep, tw Jeep number 25 soldiers, can you please come and receive your award? A big round of applause. The most disciplined squad. Jeep number 25, all of you please. They belong to the army of Kotoku Sato. 
the Japanese infantry. Thank you. The best tourism promotion squad goes to Jeep number 13. The best tourism promotion squad, Jeep number 13. Jeep number 13. The Slovaks have forgotten their Jeep number. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations to the team from Slovakia for participating in this historic event. Thank you so much. In the next discipline, this is perhaps one of the best. This year, it goes to Jeep number 21. The best ladies squad goes to Jeep number 21. I request our chief host to hand over the award to our chief guest. She is the winner of this year's ladies team in Jeep number 21. Yes, give it up for our German Consul General. Thank you, Madam. And as I said, Madam did terrifically well, very fantastically well, amazingly well in handling the siren. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you so much. In the next discipline, we have the award for the best armory. This is perhaps one of the best, well, one of the uh, most uh, extremely fought discipline. And the award goes to Jeep number 02. And please make sure to come with your armory to collect your award. Jeep number 02, led by our former Director General of Police. Thank you. In the next discipline, we have the award for the best uniform squad, Jeep number 2020. Jeep number 20. They are from the British Infantry. Located in Sovima. <laughs> Thank you. In the next discipline, we have the award for the best maintained vehicle. Jeep number 04. Jeep number 4. Jeep number 04 or Dodge number 04. <laughs> Led by our Commissioner Secretary Tourism himself, Sri Kito Jimomi. His lady wife. And the surgeons. Thank you. Last but not least, we have the award for the most original vehicle maintained for 89 years. Please put your hands together for Jeep number 
1903. Maintained from Second World War till now. Led by Sri Andrew Abuto and his team. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, now we'll have a photo session before we go to the board of thanks. Uh, when our chief host and chief guest is still here, so I request all the participants to please come and line up along with our chief host and our chief guest. Okay, everyone. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for participating in the prize distribution ceremony, which itself is history in the making. And congratulations to all the winners once again in all the different disciplines, and also to all those people who participated and could not get anything this year. Wish you all the best next year. Now we have come to almost the end of this formal program, but before we end, I would like to give the time to the General Secretary of Nagaland Adventure and Motorsports Association, Mr. A. Tovi Chopi, to pronounce the vote of thanks. Respected hosts, Sri Niferio, the Honorable Chief Minister of Nagaland, distinguished guests, chief guests, the German Consul General, Madam Barbara Vos, Honorable Guests, esteemed participants, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Nagaland Adventure and Motorsports Association, I stand before you with immense gratitude to extend a heartfelt word of thanks for the remarkable success of the World War II Peace Rally held during the Hornbill Festival. First and foremost, I would like to express our deepest appreciation to our visionary Chief Minister, Serini Ferio, your unflinching support and unwavering commitment for fostering peace and unity have been instrumental in making this event a resounding success. Your leadership has set a shining example for us all. A special word of thanks to our esteemed Chief Case, the German Consul General, Madame Barbara Voss. Your presence added a global perspective to the event emphasizing the universal importance of peace. We are grateful for the insights you shared and the diplomatic goodwill you brought to the occasion. Our heartfelt gratitude extends to all the distinguished guests who graced the occasion with a presence.
And that was the culmination of the World War II peace rally. The car rally was flagged off from Soima in the morning at around 7.20 and it reached, culminated in the World War II museum complex in Kisama. Well, we'll be bringing you more activities from the Hornbill Festival, so stay tuned to Hornbill TV. At office, I may be the boss, but being a woman, I have to make my home the best place to live in. Mama! Hey! Every day, my priority is to give the best to my family. Hey, welcome home. 